So there seems to be a lot of videos about the dangers of Kundalini and what we might do uh, to awaken it. But I haven't seen many videos on the benefits that one might receive after a Kundalini awakening. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. So we know that Kundalini is a spiritual energy inside of our body. It's a potential in everyone. But nobody, and I say I don't say nobody, but not many people awaken this powerful potential inside of us because we're never aware of it. We never have the right training. I was lucky in a sense it happened, I say spontaneously, accidentally, but I've always had this spiritual aspect to me. And once it awoke in me, it caused a lot of havoc to start with and that seems to be most people's experience of it. It causes a spiritual emergency, an absolute um, craziness in the system, mainly because from my, from my journey I've realised that it's to do with us having a, a really immature nervous system. Our nervous systems aren't ready to deal with this powerful force of energy without the appropriate training. So these things that I go into here, these benefits that we have after a Kundalini awakening are only applicable if you do the work. If you don't do the work, you can get stuck in limbo. You can you can have strange experiences rip raw through you that do leave you in a bit of a state of oh my god, I what the hell is going on with me? I I don't think I like this anymore. So we need to do the training. The training will increase the sensitivity and the range of feeling in our nervous system. And I think that's the first benefit, really. The first benefit is we'll have an increased range of feeling. Yes, that does mean negative too, but on the end of that spectrum come extreme highs. Highs that we would have never touched had we not awakened this energy inside of us. Of course, if you're going through an experience like this <coughs> and you've had something erupt inside of you and you don't really know what's going on and you don't know what the training is next, the sadhana, what we call in yoga, meaning your daily spiritual practice to bring about the highest aliveness and highest potential in your life, and you're more than welcome to sign up down below for some one-to-one -one coaching. It's getting quite busy, so I can't promise you that uh, I will give you a spot, but I can promise you that I'll read your application and we'll see if we're a good fit, you know. As well, if you're looking for something more on the free end, you're more than welcome to sign up for a double breathing practice down below. It's called Cosmic Double Breathing. It's a yoga practice that can really be used to ground ourselves in a moment where we need to kind of, yeah, well, we need to ground ourselves. It can bring some tranquility, some peace, some stability inside. Uh, it's a very powerful practice and it's free down below. Of course, as well, if you're going through an experience and you don't really know what's going on, you're more than welcome to join us in our free Facebook community. There's about 600 people in there and the people in there are amazing and they're just willing to help. So thank you for being in there if you're in there. Back to the video. So we've got this first benefit of an increased range of feeling sensitivity. And of course that comes with the lows, but it comes with high highs too. The second benefit that I found in my life for the that, that the Kundalini had for me was that it really brought me back to life. Yes, I had to go through a little bit of you know, difficulty first because this whole new energy had erupted in a nervous system that really wasn't ready for it. <laughs> and I found a teacher and it, you know, we find teachers and, and, and all ends up okay. But with this experience that happens in one moment, something incredible erupted up my spine and exploded in bliss and ecstasy and whisked me off my feet as my consciousness expanded in, in every single direction. That experience was the kickstart for really what I would say is a spiritual purpose in this life, something that I never knew anything about before. It's possible for people to have awakening experiences that know nothing about the awakening journey or know nothing about yoga or have any spiritual concepts inside them like me. And the benefit then was this spiritual life purpose that I act out and also have built a business from. Not that that's the goal, but life supports you, you know, it, it feels like a, a divinely guided journey and that's really beautiful. 
connected to that then is this third benefit that I really <clears throat> feel deeply now, now that I've gone through the, the deep karma inside of myself. And that's it's really brought me closer to the universe, or if we can use this term, God, Allah, Brahman, Nirvana, you know? Not that I'm in Nirvana, not that there's this space called Nirvana, but we cultivate Nirvana as a state of being inside of ourselves. We cultivate God, that God consciousness as a state of being inside of ourselves. And that's what the Kundalini, I've found, is the biggest benefit that I've ever had, is that deeper connection to God, to life, you know? The fourth benefit, and it's kind of linked to that, is that it made me a hell of a lot more energetically sensitive. Now we have the negative side of that, if we don't set good boundaries, if we walk out into like a park or if we walk out into a busy street, we might pick up on people's energies and that they might be quite dark, meaning like they might be dealing with anxiety and we'll pick up on that sometimes. So we need to set good boundaries and be really grounded in this feeling sense of our body. And we can use the, the sadhana to do that like the free breathing practice down below or the one-to-one -one coaching if you want to dive deeper. Mm. With this, with the energetic sensitivity, and I do, I try and refrain from talking about these things on, on YouTube because you should really only talk about these things with people that you truly trust and the people that I truly trust know that this is true in my life anyway. And, and you'll start getting signs of this, but when you become sensitive enough, energetically yes, emotionally yes, and feeling sensitive enough, you will begin to, and I suppose this is the fifth benefit of Kundalini, you will suppose, you supposedly, I suppose you'll, um, you'll start uncovering some very pronounced, perhaps we might call it psychic abilities. Now we're all psychic, it's natural for a human to be psychic. We all pick up on thoughts, on feelings of other people, but we, we are so self-absorbed that we think it's our thoughts. It's not. We're picking up on parts of the collective. Um, uh, so I suppose we could call it empathic. We pick up these empathic pronounced abilities. Really, it's more that we're just uncovering them. They're always there. They're a potential in everyone. There's nothing weird or freaky going on here, and I'm nothing special, you know? I'm just a normal guy. But the more sensitive we become, the more we pick up on the, the more subtle things in life, the more we pay attention, the less we are upstairs in our mind, which the Kundalini will rip out of you anyway, <laughs> not in a violent way, although it can maybe feel that way sometimes, especially at the start. We do become more energetically sensitive. And then that helps us when we come to teach. Sometimes it's helpful to be able to pick up on other people's energies so that as a teacher then we know exactly where that person's at in their journey. Another thing, number six, the sixth benefit, is that I now know as an experience, and so do you if you've gone through it, that there's more to life than born, work, die. We have uncovered a new, not a new consciousness, because we don't need a Kundalini awakening to be the consciousness that we already are, but a new clarity in that consciousness, a new awareness inside of ourselves that we've awakened. It's almost like we now know that there's so much more beyond life. Or at least, we know in the awakening experience that there's so much more to life that we've been missing. We constantly think, oh, when I get this, I'll be happy. Oh, blah, 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 I'm gonna live this life and get this job and I'll have a nice career. And then we miss this whole aspect of actual life being this energy inside that we are, this consciousness, this, this journey inward, this inward journey that we're all, I don't wanna say we're supposed to take, but we're made to take. Our body, our physiology is all here. This whole existence is here to focus ourselves inwards. That's why it's so painful, <laughs> you know, this life. And it's why it tears us apart so that we finally turn inwards and realize who we really are. There's so much more to life than we look at on the, the, the physical 3D realm, you know? And it just takes a look inward and Kundalini, it's one of the biggest benefits of it, will force you to do that. If you have some big awakening experience or some enlightening experience that happens in you, you'll look inside because where do these experiences happen? In me or in you, you know? Seven, 
This is the biggest benefit and the most practical benefit. Because I've done the work, the sadhana, of course I'm not perfect, I'm a right little rascal sometimes, but because of my consistency in the sadhana, doing it basically every day, of course we miss times, especially if we go on holiday when we travel it's really difficult, um, and if we you know, lose our way a little bit it's really difficult to continue the practice. <clears throat> But with consistency, I would say the biggest benefit of Kundalini and, and doing the practices that I do <clears throat> is that I, there's lots of things in life that most of the world really care about that I no longer have any interest in, like stress, like anger, like sadness. Of course these things still arise in me. I'm human and of course going back to the first point, we have this increased range of feeling sense. But with most people, we're so unaware in our lives, and I only know this from my journey before the Kundalini Awakening, we're so unaware of what's, that we're creating a negative state of being inside of ourselves with our minds. We're creating stress for ourselves. We create, excuse me, we're creating anger inside of ourselves. And once we go through this process and we do some deeper inner work and we really have a look at ourselves and look and see what it is that's creating all of this madness inside, we just tend to drop it after a while our vibration increases so much meaning we feel so good inside that these things can't come with us these things that drag us down these things that pull us out of our nice state of being they can't really ever do that but it, it definitely seems that way doesn't it the ego comes in and says you're stupid or you'll never get that girl or whatever and it pulls us out of this nice state of being and creates a negative state of being but these things will tend to die in us and that's the biggest benefit the most practical benefit is we're just so peaceful i think my thought here's another one let's make this another one the eighth benefit that's just come to me now of a kundalini awakening is you don't think so much i think my thinking has come down if i think from before the kundalini awakening it's probably come down about 85 percent it's not like i can't think I can think, I can plan, and sometimes I do still torture myself in my mind, you know, but that's less and less and less now. It's not this constant process that it used to be, and that comes with the practice, and I'd have never got there without that Kundalini awakening in the first place. I, my genuine belief is that I was such a prat beforehand, and trust me, if you knew me before, you'd believe so too. I was such a prat, and this Kundalini, I needed something that sharp and that abrupt in my life, that awakening experience to really, to really make me pay attention and go this way. Otherwise, I would not have gone. I genuinely believe that's why the Kundalini awakening happened in me, just so that I'd stop being a prat and I'd pay attention to the reality of life inside of myself, this spiritual nature that we all are. Ah. There's eight benefits that I found from the Kundalini Awakening journey. I only say them because I know at the start it's tough. Tough. Like sometimes beyond tough. Sometimes we need to take a step back, remove ourselves from the world a little bit for some time. Kind of tough. And I resonate and I have compassion for you. And if you're going through something like that and you want somebody that's been through the experience, then down below you can sign up for the one to one coaching. I'm a qualified yoga teacher, that's what I do. All right. I hope that video helps. I hope that puts a positive spin on Kundalini. Sometimes we have to go through some tough times first though, but notice that Kundalini is a healing journey. Any tough stuff that's coming up is coming up because we've repressed it through our lives and it's coming up now to be healed. So long as we don't resist it again, the Kundalini's shoved a, <laughs> a shotgun in our face, I suppose, and all of these things are now coming up to the surface and it can feel a little bit overwhelming, but trust that this is the universe being so kind because if you have the courage to do the work and deal with this deep, these deep traumas inside of yourself, you will heal them. And that is, in essence, what, what, what relieves us from our stress, from our anger, from our depression. Kundalini is a blessing. But don't, it's powerful, I don't want to say don't, <laughs> but it's a powerful energy. Do not muck around with it. Uh, and if you can, find a really good teacher to help you through the process. 
my teaching stuff, I can't awaken Kundalini inside of you. Mine's for more dealing with the aftermath because I've been through it and I know what's going on. If you want to awaken Kundalini through Shakti Pat or do something like that, then go and find, that's, don't come with me, go and find somebody who's really deeply seated in, in, in that practice. <clears throat> if you have gone through something though, and your life's a bit wobbly afterwards, then you can come with me. I have the experience to be able to deal with that. Okay, really good. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.